Hi, welcome back to Math Smash. In this video, we're going to be looking at multiplying a fraction by an integer. So let's go. Okay, so what is an integer? According to the Cambridge Dictionary, it's a whole number, not a fraction. So the numbers 5, 6, 7 are whole numbers. And 5.5, five and 5.7, five those are not integers because they are fractions or decimal numbers. So 5, 6, 7, 11, those would all be integers. Okay, so we've got our number line along the bottom here. And we're going to look at the question 3 times 1 third. So I start with 0 at one end of my number line. And I add 1. And I cut that up into threes because the denominator in my fraction is thirds. So I'm cutting my number line up into thirds. And you can see that I've got uh, all the way up to three. Okay, so now I draw a box, which is three sets of one third long. Okay, so there's one third, two thirds, and three-thirds and we know that three-thirds is the same thing as one okay so let's have another look at a different question four times two-thirds okay so what's that going to be we start again with zero on our number line and there's one there's two there's three and again I'm going to cut my number line up into thirds because the denominator is three so there you go, I've cut my number line up into thirds, and I'm going to add four at the end just to be on the safe side. Okay, now this time each block I'm drawing is going to be two-thirds long. Okay, so there's my first block. There's my second block of two-thirds. Okay, and there's my third block of two-thirds. Now remember, I'm going to four, so I have to draw one more block. So. Here's my fourth block, okay, and that's two-thirds. So that means that I have one, two, and two-thirds. So my answer is going to be two and two-thirds. So four times two-thirds is two and two-thirds. And you'll notice that there's no spaces between the blocks. To do it without pictures, we can just do it mathematically like this. I take four times two-thirds, four goes over one, multiplied by two-thirds. I multiply the four by two gives me 8, and 1 times 3 gives me 3, and now I just say how many times does 3 go into 8, or 8 divided by 3, well, that's going to give me 2, because 2 times 3 is 6, and that gives me 2 left over, so that goes as my numerator and 3 as my denominator. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. See you next time.